It's Regina. Welcome back to my haunted library. Today we're continuing with our discussion of Robert McKee's story. We're still on part two. This is chapter four, structure and genre. So I find the, the uh, subject of genre very interesting and I'm glad that he really covers it in depth in this chapter. Now again, he's writing specifically about screenwriting, but it applies to fiction writers as well. And he gives a very comprehensive list of the different genres and what and how they interact how they cross each other and what the expectations are for the the individual genres there is a sort of a snobbery about genre writing like it's kind of like hack writers you know like uh, romance formulaic novels or uh, true crime or whatever it is but he makes the point that everyone is writing in some kind of genre and that in order to really do it well, you have to master whatever the genre is that you are working in and you really have to study it. And I like that idea. So let's get right into it, shall we? He makes the point about genre that not only do you have to fulfill audience anticipations or risk their confusion and disappointment, but you must lead their expectations to fresh, unexpected moments or risk of boring them. So what he wrote uh, there about the audience or reader expectation is important. Generally, when someone picks up a romance, they're looking for a happy ending. They're looking for a happy ever after or a happy for now kind of ending. And that is a part of what the reader expectation is. Same with a mystery. If you are uh, reading a mystery and it has a detective, which is usually the trope, you expect that crime to be solved by the end of the book. That's part of the genre and it's part of the expectation. And if you don't meet that expectation, you're going to risk uh, your audience or reader not being satisfied with your book. But he makes the point, and this is the challenge, this is the hard part, is take those expectations and make them fresh, make them new, do something different with them. And uh, that's not easy at, at all, of course. Like in, the, in horror, which is one of my favorite genres, uh, this genre divides into three subgenres: the uncanny, in which the source of horror is as, horror is astounding but subject to rational explanation, such as being from outer space, science-made monsters, or a maniac; the supernatural, in which the source of horror is an irrational phenomenon from the spirit realm; and the super uncanny, in which the audience is kept guessing in between the two other possibilities. The Shining, he uses as an example, and I think that's a, that's a good example, because is it uh, Jack Torrance, is he just a psycho, or is this uh, happening on like a supernatural level? The most important question we ask when writing a love story is what's to stop them? So that goes back to like, you know, Romeo and Juliet, right? You've got the lovers and you have, the conflict is not their relationship, it's what's keeping them from being together. So, uh, so that convention is something that is an established one and something that when you're writing your love story, let's say, you should really ask yourself that question. What is keeping these two from being together? Okay, so then he ends the chapter, and I'm just really being brief with it. It, it really requires a, a, a careful reading. Mastery of genre is essential for yet one more reason. Screenwriting, and I'll insert any kind of creative writing, is not for sprinters, but for long distance runners. So you have to really work at it. It doesn't just happen, you know, it would be nice if it did, but you really have to work at it. And then he, he talks about what is your favorite genre, then write in the genre you love. Now, uh, I think this is, is interesting because I, for many of us, myself included, who are trying to have success at being an independent writer, sometimes we wonder, wow, my genre is not that popular. You know, people don't really read horror that much. I should write romance. But if you don't love romance, you probably are not going to be a really good writer in that genre. But it wouldn't be a stretch to write in um, gothic romance because that does interest me and that does kind of overlap with horror and I love it or paranormal which I'm writing in now and bringing in romantic elements into that so I think that when you do decide what genre to write in it does make sense that you're going to write in the one that you're passionate about obviously study it and learn 
everything you can about it and uh, keep reading your McKee. And uh, the next chapter next week will be structure and character. So I'm looking forward to that. So we'll slowly getting through this book. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for stopping by my haunted library and I'll see you soon. Bye.